What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are in the Helltide of the PTR and we are gonna be fighting the brand new Helltide boss summon which is at the Accursed Ritual, the Blood Maiden. So I'm gonna kinda go over some strategies and just, I've never fought her before so oh crap, let's not get jumped. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the hearts to fight her. We're gonna summon her for the very first time and then we're gonna fight her and see how the boss fight actually is and just see how cool the fight is. Um, we've been kind of looking for a new Helltide boss and other mechanics to make the Helltides a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm really trying to explain things, but I just keep getting jumped, which is another reason why the Helltide is just so much better now. Because there's so many more monsters that you can fight. And the game is not letting me explain anything. So this is great for the video. So, how do we summon the brand new Blood Maiden? You're going to need three of these hearts right here next to my mouse. And there's a few ways to get these hearts. Uh, you can get them from opening up chests, particularly the um, Gift of Living Steel chest. Man, these guys are just constantly spawning. You can also get them. Oh, it's because my bar is going. That's why. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, I'm still not used to the new mechanic, chat. Viewers on YouTube. So when this bar is done, we're going to get a little boss. We're going to get the Bloodborne boss as well. And he also drops the uh, the hearts to summon the Blood Maiden. So here we go. We got the Hellborn. We're going to kill him real quick. He's dead. So this time he did not drop the item, which is okay. That's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and open up our Tortured Gift of Living Steels. Make sure that we get one, right? Nope, we didn't. We got the Baneful Heart. You can see right here, Baneful Heart. That gives us four, so you get it from the Living Steel chest. Uh, I'm not sure if you get it from the like the normal gift, um, mystery gift chest, but you do get it from the Helltide. So now we're going to go all the way over here to the Accursed Ritual, and we're going to go find um, our boss here. I'll see you guys over there in just a sec. All right, so we're over at the other end of the Helltide. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to find this symbol here that says Accursed Ritual. All right, now this... Um, symbol is not going to appear right on the map. You are going to have to find it to uncover it. Now, hopefully, when the brand new Season 4 comes out, this will just be showcased there so you don't have to worry about trying to uncover it, kind of similar to how the torture gifts were, the mystery get like the mystery chest and the torture gift chest, where we had to find them, and now that they're just highlighted on the map, which is super cool. Um, so hopefully we won't be able to see that in season four but so we found the accursed ritual so here we go we got three of these each one takes a baneful heart so we're going to place we're going to place three of these things and now we're going to summon the blood maiden and let's see how this fight goes man i've never actually done this fight before so it should be it should be pretty gnarly we'll see how cool if this boss fight tops the uh Exilian. i don't even know i don't even think i said his name right our former and still one of our Helltide bosses, which to me is still just okay. I mean, if they made the, the item drops a little bit better, then it would probably be all right. But so here we go. I'm assuming we're just killing everything. Why this Blood Maiden gets summoned. There's not even an, an instruction over here just to even show. I think we're literally just killing everything until she pops up. So this can also be a really good way to accumulate a lot of cinders, which is kind of nice. A bunch of items and forgotten souls. I really do love the forgotten souls. Oh, here we go. Sathya? How is that? Sathya? The Blood Maiden. Level 103. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, she summoned three Hellborns. Four Hellborns. I'm marked somehow. What? I'm marked. Dude, she's... Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, no. Sathya killed me. Get in there. Dude, she summons a bunch of Hellborns. This is cool. I did some bad play. I'm trying to look at everything, and I just died. Oh, somebody's breaking the game. Yo, look at how many Hellborn she summons. Yo, that's cool. 
I'm dead again somehow. I don't even know how I died. I will. This is a good opportunity to bring in the uh, random one shots in the game. All right. Sathya is defeated. So we get an exquisite blood. One, two, three, four, five legendaries. That's actually pretty cool. So this is kind of like a mix of like vamp tides with some other stuff. I don't know. That seemed kind of cool, don't you guys think? Like that was that was such a cool fight. I don't know. It seemed pretty uh it pretty insane. Like summon a bunch of the bloodborne seems super cool. Um being marked and taking a bunch of damage is kind of nice, I guess. Seems interesting. Ooh, good, good, good pants. Yeah, it's kind of gnarly, man. That was that was pretty cool. Let's uh, yeah, yeah. Let's summon and fight her one more time. Spend my my bane thing. My teammate's gonna bring it in. It is definitely an interesting fight. Let's do one more just to kind of showcase her. I do like this fight a little bit more than the Exithian. Exithian, I'm saying his name wrong. It's definitely a different fight. The getting marked in all the Bloodborns are kind of interesting. Summon stuff. I got a, I got a big boy inventory right now. Summon again and again. You got just like the Vampires guys. If you do this in a party, like you're gonna be able to rack up a lot of cinders and just a lot of free items. All right, we're, we're like mushing on. I don't know who came in last time and was like making the game break. It's pretty gnarly though. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here she is. Oh wait, it's a different one. It changes name. Xari? That's cool. All right, we got the Bloodborns. Got a little bit of lag going on. I'm not sure why there's so much lag. Almost as if we're breaking the game. Oh, make sure we're not getting randomly one shot, which continues to be an issue in this game. We got too many conjurations out on the floor, baby. Keep moving around. Keep moving around. Don't get marked. Don't get marked. Four that was that 12 bloodborns. Oh boy, oh boy. I almost died. I'm marked. There we go. She's dead again. And you're guaranteed an exquisite blood. And again, five five random uniques or uh, legendaries. All right. Not a bad fight. Initial impression. Pretty cool. Kind of brings back the vamp tides from last season, which is kind of interesting in season um, season two. It's definitely not bad. Um, I do like this. I love that the hell tide has a lot more activities for bosses on top of the normal bosses and events that happen in here. On top of your uh, most wanted bar. So that's not a, that's not a bad extra little thing you can do with your community as well as just like other random players i think that's pretty cool so yeah guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace